Hi, I'm Chelsea Lydell. I run Love Tracks Ice Cream. I started making delicious cold treats for my family. At the age of 10, after school, playing around with flavor combos, I went dairy-free after my first child was born 13 years ago. My world changed. I started making my own dairy-free items. I come from 10 years in business, sales, and deaf community advocacy. Dairy allergies are a growing issue in our community. We know dairy's scary, it's nasty, it's not right. But we all love our ice cream, right? What are we going to do, then? We make delicious oat milk ice cream free of eggs, nuts, or soy. There is no one else making non-dairy ice cream in this area. Roseville has a large water park and the largest mall in Northern California, attracting thousands of visitors. Roseville is a central location for our business. You can see photos of our future shop here too. Our three core values tie in with our market. First, health. We attract the health conscious and vegans. Second, we value charity. 90% of deaf children are seriously deprived of language and social opportunities. We sponsor ice cream parties for deaf kids' language needs. Third, we value community. We have five local colleges teaching sign that will send their students to us for practice, as well as the Norkel services for the deaf. The first thing people see in our booth is American Sign Language. On the left is our booth's banner. Then you can see our three original flagship flavors, banana, vanilla, chocolate, we will be focusing on events and street festivals in 2024. We will build up to a storefront and a distribution center later. The non-dairy ice cream market is growing rapidly, 13% a year. You can support us in three ways. Come to the Summer Festival on Tuesday nights in Roseville in June. You can invite our ice cream to your next event. It's really nice to meet you all. You can also follow us on Instagram. Hope you like our ice cream today. Hello, my fellow hot sauce enthusiasts. Are you ready to ignite your taste buds and elevate your meals to a whole new level? Introducing Core of the Earth Hot Sauce, where we craft fiery sensations that tantalize your senses and turn any dish into a flavor-packed experience. My name is Dave Hendrickson, and I unofficially started Core of the Earth two years ago with my very first hot sauce that I made from decorative habanero plants I had growing in my backyard. My professional background has primarily been in food equipment design and process engineering, which I've been doing for the last 25 years. My wife, Tammy, is also involved with the company, uh, bringing her 20 plus years of business management to handle all the accounting and business administration. So let me ask you, are you tired of the same old boring table hot sauce that you find in your refrigerator or at most restaurants? Then, when you try to venture out to find something new, you end up like these guys with an inferno going off in your mouth? Come on, people. Who needs this? Here at Core of the Earth, it's about the perfect balance of heat and flavor. We pride ourselves on using only the finest, freshest, and all-natural ingredients. No additives or preservatives. All our sauces are gluten-free, 
contain no corn syrup and are 100% vegan. These sauces aren't just for the daredevils seeking the ultimate heat challenge. They're for anyone looking to add a bit of excitement to their meals. Whether you're a heat aficionado or someone who loves just a touch of zest, our range of so sauces offers something for every taste bud. And don't just think about hot sauce for your typical hot wings or tacos. Our hot sauce pair well with your morning eggs, work well for spicing up your salads, or can be used to give an extra kick to your favorite cocktails. We've grown to recognize that the hot sauce market is one of the fastest growing sectors of the food industry, with expected growth to be two and a half times greater than the U.S. food and grocery retail market in the current decade. There's never been a better time to fill the need of a growing appetite for more bold and spicy offerings. Sales of Core of the Earth hot sauce will start at the local level, available at Sacramento area farmers markets and events. Online sales will also be available through our company's website, which can be accessed directly online or through our social media platforms. As our popularity grows, we will be expanding to local specialty stores with intent on moving into national grocery chains in the future. So join the Core of the Earth family today and elevate every meal to an unforgettable experience. Get ready to ignite your taste buds, embrace the heat, and savor the flavor. Find out where you can find us next on Instagram or our website to grab your next bottle and taste the difference. Thank you. Water Tower coffee cart. And this is our story. And I just wonder why hasn't anyone brought third wave coffee to the Meadowview area? The options for snagging a quality cup of coffee are limited without trekking to Land Park or Midtown. It's frustrating to drive so far for a great caffeine fix and connection. Currently, the coffee scene in Meadowview is dominated by chain coffee shops with offer limited connection to community or quality beans. Water Tower Coffee aims to change this by being strategically set up alongside an active and new trail. Our goal is to create a vibrant and inclusive community space that appeals to both caffeine lovers and novices alike. At Water Tower Cafe, we would strive to bring together coffee, culture, and community. Our approach is unique because we feature roasters from Black, Indigenous, and people of color on a monthly basis. We take pride in our brewing process using only French press or pour over, which allows us time to engage in the community with conversation, as well as talk about the uniqueness of our roasters that are on menu. The coffee cart will be stationed in the Meadowview area alongside the newly established South Sacramento Trail West. My name is Dynique Thompson, and I am the community barista and owner of Water Tower Coffee Cart. I have a bachelor's in business administration with a focus on entrepreneurship. I have 15 plus years combined of work in customer service, insurance claims handling, customer training, and sales experience that I bring to the cart. When you look at our community, which is our target market, in 2022, according to ABC 10 News, Sacramento is ranked number nine as the best coffee cities in the U.S., with a booming coffee scene, our target market are professionals between 25 to 40 years old who value premium coffee, who are socially aware. They are also in diverse communities and are digitally connected. They also are in local community events. They're active cyclists, fitness enthusiasts, and outdoor persons. With our timeline, we are looking to schedule opening July of 2024 with our unique location alongside the Parkway Trail West. During our first couple of months, we are reaching out to our target audience through social media like TikTok and IG to tell our story and our progress. We will also begin to grow brand loyalty through Cart Community, where members have access to menu items before everyone else, alongside educational events. To also reach more of our community, we are looking to partner with local community events such as Corremos Sacramento and Saba to start holding start and ending events to pair coffee along with community. As we grow, we will expand the menu to include manual press espresso and seasonal drinks. In 2025, we are looking to expand our, our reach with pop-ups and private events. While we are not active on our socials yet, 
please follow us on IG at watertower underscore coffee underscore cart. And to help us with startup costs, please join us at our crowdsourcing site, fundly.com forward slash watertower coffee cart. Thank you so much for your time. And we look forward to seeing you on the trail. Hello, my name is Eddie Hubbard. I'm the owner and CEO of Zones, a collection of individually tailored products, goods, and support services specializing in dry herbs, spices, teas, botanicals, functional creamers, and drink mixes. All right, next slide. I came up with the ideas for Zones reading National Geographic journalist Dan Buettner's Blue Zones article, which focused on global longevity locations where the largest communities of centenarians were found. The Blue Zones were Okinawa, Japan, Nicoya, Costa Rica, Sardinia, Italy, Ikaria, Greece, and Loma Linda, California. As a nutritionist, I wanted to incorporate aspects from each location, dietary practices, and culinary secrets into a product, hoping it could help others reach greater heights as well. I knew changing eating habits would that have been shaped over a lifetime would be extremely difficult. So how can zones overcome this feat? By enhancing products already being used. All right, next slide. The problem Zone seeks to overcome is our nation's preference for quantity over quality of food. Over half of the U.S. adults have at least one preventable chronic disease. Poor nutrition con contributes to over half a million deaths annually. The food industry, with the help of flavor chemists or flavorists, have spent decades making processed and ultra-processed foods irresistible to our palates. Almost 60% of American adults and almost 70% of children eat processed foods daily. Health is suffering, but healthcare is booming. Almost $190 billion are spent annually on obesity alone, with two in three U.S. adults, or two in three U.S. adults and one in three children ages two to 19 overweight or obese. Next slide. Many companies are choosing the ride to wave by mass marketing the latest quick fix trend, the latest quick fix trend. The problem with following the leader is the leader's premise is faulty. Number one, there is no silver bullet where one item cures all ills. And number two, one size does not fit all where one solution works for everyone. At Zones, our solution is holistically subtraction by addition. Put back in what's taken out, include antioxidants and feed the microbiome, not the human. Antioxidants reduce radical species, which significantly contribute to the decline of health markers. 17 out of the top 20 food sourced antioxidants are found in dry herbs and spices. Herbs and spices, astounding positive effects on the microbiome, microbiome composition in a relatively short period of time is due to their high phytochemical content. This is important because compared to the human genome, 0.1% of functions versus the microbiomes, almost 99% of functions of gene functions are the cause. Uh, next slide. Uh, our business is in its infant stages, and as such, we are seeking to partner with the established business mentor with established business mentors to gain further insights and enlightenment to enhance our chances of rapid success. Thank you. I can be reached at uh, our website uh, www.myliberatedhealth.com or uh, through my Gmail and uh, home phone. Thanks again. Hello, my name is Eugenia, and I'm a co-founder of Ukraine Food Now. Our mission is to uncover Ukrainian culture through traditional dishes. When the war started in Ukraine, I was very involved um, in a volunteer for Ukrainian refugees who were coming here. As an immigrant myself, I personally witnessed the challenge in finding employment, especially for women with limited English. 
Also, I wanted to present our Ukrainian culture, which has been covered for so many years. So eight months ago, the idea came to my mind to create a food business, and we started with the Midtown Farmer's Market. Currently, there are seven Ukrainian refugees who make Ukrainian vareniki, known as pierogies. They're beloved Ukrainian traditional dish made from the dough wrapped around various fillings, typically boiled and can be served with butter, sour cream, and a satya onion. Currently, we have seven different flavors from savory to sweet, and we sell them cooked and frozen. We believe we started our business in the right time since there is no well-known Ukrainian restaurant in Sacramento area. Our business filled the gap by offering Ukrainian cuisine in Sacramento, meeting the needs of Ukrainian um, community and satisfying the growing interest in Ukrainian culture due to the current war, along with providing employment for Ukrainian refugees. Our target audience are local residents, Midtown area, preferably food enthusiasts, uh, vegetarian and vegan, and of course, Ukrainian diaspora and immigrants. Our business model operates through three primarily channels. Sales at the local markets, distribution, sorry, distribution of frozen products, and our website. Presently, we sell at the Midtown Farmers Market and the Capital Mall Market, boasting a customer retention rate between 15 to 30 percent. Additionally, our our frozen products are available at three stores, Sacramento Co-op, European and Delicatessen, and Gastronome Kiev. Our ultimate goal is to establish a brick and mortar location while maintaining our presence at the farmer's markets to promote and market our products. Stop by at the Midtown Farmer's Market and find us at the hot food section every Saturday from 9 a.m. till 1 p.m. Also follow us on uh, Instagram at yukerfood.now for further updates since we are working on updating our website, expanding the menu, adding delivery, and eventually opening a brick and mortar store. So you don't want to miss it. Thank you. So hi there, my name is Gregory Horton. I'm the owner of Taiyaki Living Cooks. We are an event-based food business that sells taiyaki. Um, we were founded in February of 2022 and we've served over a dozen events over the last uh, couple of years and we've served more than 10,000 customers. Now, in order to get to where we are, we have to discuss why taiyaki and, and why me. Um, I've been going to anime conventions since I was a kid and I could never afford to eat anything. And I always wanted to have food that was brought me closer to the culture that I admired. Um, and Taiyaki is exactly that. Taiyaki is a fish shaped waffle uh, based in Japan. Um, they are made from a waffle batter and can, because the batter is so neutral, can be served with either sweet or savory fillings. And we specialize in kind of exploring what can be done with a Taiyaki. And so we offer Oreo flavor, Nutella flavor, red bean, and then cheddar cheese and pepper jack and pepperoni pizza. We really focus on serving anime conventions because that's where our customer exists. Uh, these are people who already want something Japanese and already looking for something exciting and affordable and fast. Um, we use as many as six uh, of our electrical waffle irons to make as many as 250 taiyaki in um, our average customer will buy it about three at a time so they can try all the flavors and really get a meal out of the deal. And so we do anywhere from 80 to 100 transactions an hour. Uh, we managed to pull all this off with a small team working in a 10 by 20 booth. So then the question is, is how can we serve you? Um, we really prefer TLC does its best work in indoor environments where we can purchase on-site power. Um, we are looking for new events and venues. And so as we uh, are trying to expand our business, I mean, really the question, how can we serve you is how would you like us to serve? Um, and so as we look to grow and expand, 
I'd like to invite you to follow us on Facebook and Instagram to find out where we are, what events we're currently serving at, uh, and then to email us with new events you'd like us to go to and to suggest new crazy tacky flavors that we can try to pull off. Thank you. So hi, my product is Funky Brussels, which are fermented Brussels sprouts in two flavors. But first, a little bit about myself. So my name is Jocelyn Jones. I was born and raised in Belgium, where my love for Brussels sprouts really started. I've been fermenting food since 2012, and I've been working in the food industry for almost two decades. I finally made a step to start the Funky Brussels LC in 2021. So my products, there's two different ones. There's a spicy fermented one, which is more like the Korean style kimchi with Korean peppers, garlic, onion, fish sauce, and salt. Then I also have a vegan one, which is fermented with miso and daikon, papaya, onion, and Thai chilies as well. Both products are stocked with probiotics. A little bit about why you should eat fermented foods. So basically, it's good for your gut health. Your gut breaks down the foods you consume, absorbs the nutrients, and sustains your organs. So it will have effects on your hormone balance, may improve your cognitive function, support your heart health, and 100% will improve your digestion. But most of all, it's delicious. My target audience, I want to focus on three groups. Families, I want to have families have this a staple in their pantry. They can use it to add to their favorite dishes. And if they follow us on Instagram, you'll find some meal inspiration there as well, and even some tips on how to ferment at home. People with an active lifestyle can also easily uh, consume my product. It comes in a readily available 16 ounce jar, so they can bring them with them on hikes, bike rides, even to the beach, and just eat directly out the jar. People that are health conscious will find that the vegan option is delicious and nutritious. Then the spicy option is also gluten-free, so it can be consumed by a variety of people. Our milestones. So in 2021, I really perfected the recipe and decided it was ready for the greater market. I did some trials at the Oak Park Farmer's Market and was welcomed with open arms. I have a, about a 20% customer retention rate and we're very happy about that. So that led me to opening online sales. I started making a website, which is up and running. It's funkybrussels.com. So you can buy through the website. You can buy through the Instagram. And our next chapter we're working on, hopefully in 2024, will be wholesale and retail. So the market growth of fermented foods is pretty awesome. It's a compound annual growth rate of about 6.7%, which is pretty huge. And we hope to be a part of that. So my future goals will be, first of all, get into a commercial kitchen with more space so I can store more food and I can supply to the local markets. Then scale up production. Scaling up my production will allow me to accommodate these bigger stores. Next, retail wholesale. I'm thinking of the co-op. I'm thinking of maybe even Taylor's Market and the small local markets here. The next step will be the national market. What about Nugget? What about Whole Foods? Let's get in there. So thank you for listening. Follow me on social media. It's just the funkybrussels.com. And you can find us on Instagram and hopefully gear up to be in stores near you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Julia Mazeppa. I am the CEO of Maze Cat Cafe. Amaze yourself with the purest cats and delightful moments. Welcome to our 24-7 Cat Cafe, not just a space for your feline enthusiasts, but your cozy third place. With high-tech air systems and a unique cat-themed menu, we offer a haven for cat lovers. Join our community for events, education, and a delightful cat moment, making us your go-to spot for relaxation, food, connection, regardless of pet ownership. Meet our Cat Cafe team. I am Julia Mazeppo with a background in business management and barista training, driven by a strong passion for feline welfare. As the general manager of Maze Cat Cafe, I bring eight years of experience to create a unique space that blends customer enjoyment with a commitment to cat welfare. Our cat room consists of 15 to 30 cats at a time, majority of adoptable cats, but also full-time cafe cats. Your cozy cat haven, what we offer is cat play sessions, 
free to all lounge area, food and drinks, retail merchandise, memberships and rewards. The problem is limited third spaces, overflow of feral cats and unique food choices. Our solution is a 24 seven inviting cafe with unique food and drinks plus cat rescues and adoptions for any budget. Our target market spans cat lovers, families, tourists, students, and local residents of Sacramento. This diverse audience reflects individuals seeking a unique and enjoyable experience, blending cat companionship, family outings, tourist attractions, and a welcoming environment for local residents and students alike. Projections. Our cat cafe anticipates growth aligning with an upward trend in the pet themed cafe industry, which has seen a 15% annual increase in customer engagement over the past three years. This unique blend of feeling companionship and delightful food offerings positions Maze Cat Cafe as a standout player in this growing market. We plan to extend the Cat Cafe experience beyond Sacramento to neighboring cities and states as we grow our first location. Get ready to experience amazing moments at Maze Cat Cafe. While we prepare to open our doors, join our cat loving community online, Follow us on social media at Maze Cat Cafe for exclusive updates, behind the scenes, and exciting announcements. Be the first to know when we're ready to welcome you to Sacramento's premier cat haven. Stay connected and get ready for a perfectly delightful adventure. Thank you. Uh, welcome to the Wild Brunch. Um, next slide. I'm the chef. Um, I create the menus. I do the recipes. Um, I have a extensive background in cooking. Uh, Xenia, she's the sales and marketing person. She has even more experience. So I'm pretty sure without her, I wouldn't sell one roll. Next slide. <clears throat> the problem we found was there wasn't a lot of uh, late night options for quality um, breakfast, brunch items. Um, and we're hoping to tackle that issue with, uh, with the Wild Brunch. Next slide. The solution was that um, for us to become mobile and to go to where the people are and uh, do like some uh, research or reach out uh, we started in our neighborhood and um, it was successful. We had like basically a, uh, <clears throat> a yard sale with cinnamon rolls and we sold out. So we were on to something. Uh, next slide. Our target market is uh, pretty diverse. It's basically any neighborhood. Um, the age range is from 25 to 45 years old. Um, we target to um, foodies, um, people who want to eat brunch um, all hours of the day, not just during lunch and breakfast. Um, we uh, focus on sustainable local products. Um, we try to use um, seasonal um, ingredients. And um, next slide. So we're reaching out to them. Um, we're currently in uh, local markets. Um, <clears throat> we would like to grow and get into uh, farmer's markets, do on-site cooking and uh, partner with uh, venues looking for somebody who can bring food to them where there's a lack of food. Um, our goals are to expand the menu, uh, cook on-site, um, and eventually build something greater than just a, a pop-up sale event and sell cinnamon rolls, maybe something more than that uh, within the near future. Next slide. So if you want to help us, uh, join us at our next event coming up and follow us on uh, the wildbrunch 916com or uh, Instagram. Thank you.
Hello, I'm happy to share a new and upcoming business, La Cafe Flora, where we enjoy infusing blooms, blends, and bliss. So the owners include me and Edgar Benavides. We are a married couple um, that luckily works great together. Uh, Edgar brings in the many years of operations experience, love for drinks, and plant care, while I bring in the looks. Just kidding. I support the Cafe Flora by running all the back end operations, utilizing my master's degree in IO psychology and years of office experience. Together, we aim at bringing everyone and sharing our love of a comforting vibe. So we plan on selling delicious artisanal coffees and beautiful and exciting mocktails, all enveloped around the essence of flowers. So just a little um, quick fact, when you're in the essence of flowers, it actually brings you um, less stress and anxiety. So we are aiming to make community or make Sacramento less stressed. Our mission is giving which is an acronym for our values, gratitude, integrity, piracy, innovation, nurturing, and generosity. These values resonate throughout our business, reflected in the quality of our beverages, our treatment of staff and customers, and our commitment to donating to local nonprofits. Upholding these values is at the core um, that guides us towards successfully sharing our delightful drinks, beautiful flowers, and our love for the community. So what we what will we bring? We plan on bringing delicious lattes, specialty espresso drinks, mocktails that aim to excite your senses while also being healthy. We also plan on giving you a staff that focuses on brightening your day. So all of this in the area where you can enjoy flowers. <laughs> we really love flowers. So what we see is constant work busy schedules and stress and a sense that people are taking care of tasks more than they're taking care of themselves so what we aim at doing is bringing a community um our bringing our community a chance to pause and enjoy themselves while uh giving themselves a treat of a espresso or a mocktail our target audience are going to include busy moms pregnant women college students, uh, office workers, and the generally stressed in the Sacramento community. Our aim is to bring everyone peace. So what we plan on doing is starting off in our trailer where we're gonna be presenting at the farmer's markets. We then want to use that time to market and advertise so we can soon move into our brick and mortar where we can have a better chance of bringing the environment that we would love to bring. Um, and then at the end, just sharing it out with everyone around. We're just gonna be here and support the community. So life can get stressful and responsibilities sometimes veer you from watering your own garden. La Cafe Flora provides a delicious floral inspired beverage meant to remind you that you too are meant to bloom. We will soon be sharing our delicious beverages next year, but in the meantime, you can follow us on Instagram at La Cafe Flora and get your daily dose of positivity. Thank you. Hey everyone, my name is Najeri Bennett and I am the owner and chef here at Drakey's Jamaican Kitchen. A uh, little backstory, I was born in Jamaica, the beautiful island, tiny, of course, but with global impact, known for the gift of Bar Marley to reggae, Usain Bolt, and our amazing whites and beaches, and our food, of course. Now, I discovered a passion for um, cooking and storytelling at an early age. Before social media, I was my family um, personal influencer. I was running through the local market selling my grandmother's potato pudding. And here I am, fast forward 2013, when I moved to the US. 
Now, with over a decade in luxury and contemporary retail management, both in New York City and here in Sacramento, I bring an appreciation for authentic flavors, passion for customer service, community building, and social entrepreneurship. I am truly inspired by my culture. I love my island. I love the flavor. I love the energy and the vibes. And for that reason, I'm embarking on this journey of bringing jerkies to Sacramento. Now, why Sacramento? It is the farm to fork capital and the third uh, most diverse city in US. And for, for that reason alone, just being here within two years, noticing that there are people here from the Caribbean. However, I barely feel their presence. And currently we have only two local restaurants that are not necessarily located in areas that are easily to access. Um, they have inconsistent hours and they're basically lacking community presence and engagement. And that's where Jerky's comes in. We want to be the one-stop shop, as you would say in Jamaica, for all things Jamaican and Caribbean. And so, of course, Jerk is our aim is to bring culturally relevant and engaging community building within our space. We want to focus on consistency and accessibility, affordability, and we are, of course, planning on being quality driven. All of this to say, our aim is to be authentic, to represent the Caribbean. For a target audience, which I like to call just community, um, we focus on serving all Sacramento locals. So from university students and young professionals to reggae and Jamaican food enthusiasts, and of course our newbies, to BIPOC and LGBTQIA plus members seeking for a space to be a community to local Caribbean residents, of course, and local businesses through our catering services. Within our first year, my primary goal is to focus on being a private chef, doing catering um, as a hybrid restaurant, strategically delivering our authentic dishes to live events. We have a lot of Caribbean or reggae events in Sacramento, and I would love to be the premier restaurant for those events. Um, to also theme dining experiences throughout the city. As demand grows, of course, I will expand to ensure a seamless transition into a thriving brick and mortar establishment by year two. So embark with us on this culinary journey and support Jerkies by indulging in our catering services and follow us on Instagram at jerkies.kitchen and help us spread the word about Sacramento's newest culinary sensation. Jerkies, where every dish is a passport to the heart of the Caribbean. So join us on this flavorful adventure. Thank you. Big up. All right, yeah. Hello, everyone. Um, our business is Got Chai. And uh, let me quickly introduce myself and my partner. Um, next slide, please. Um, I'm Ravi, and I have my co-founder, Heather, as well. Um, we both come from like tech background, and we work in tech industry, but Got Chai started, or the idea started in, in January of this year. Ironically, we were sitting in one of the Chai cafes when we were traveling to India and uh, contemplating what should we do next, and that's where the Got Chai started. Next slide, please. Um, so what is the got chai is is trying to solve uh, basically we found four key areas or challenges one is lack of familiarity uh, lack of variety and innovation in the, in the chai offerings or the traditional chai offerings uh, limited accessibility to like high quality uh, and authentic chai experience as well and then lack of community around chai and uh, how are we solving this with got chai i'm going to uh, explain in the next slide so yes, introducing Got Chai and then how we are bridging the gap between the tradition and the modern society. So we will offer uh, chai blends which are very consistent and authentic in in your taste in in terms of taste and uh, the the uh, the texture and everything. And then we will also offer like innovative chai solutions which will cater to various customer segments um, and then also like cater to various uh, different palettes as well and then eventually we will have a place where everyone can come 
and have like a cup of chai and then feel the sense of community. Next slide, please. Uh, so that defines us and our core values. So our three core values are quality, authenticity, and community. And uh, what makes us unique, I'm going to explain on the next slide. Um, so this is how are we going to stress on like quality, authenticity, and building that community. First is we are we are working with uh, local tea estates and farms in India to uh, to procure those uh, raw materials or or procure those spices and tea and make those blends. So that is uh, giving you that authentic experience. Then also we will offer products which are very convenient for the on the go kind of customers as well who want to. Um, like who want to try our tea, but they they want to just try it out. So we will have various samples of and packages available and in various format as well. Um, next slide, please. Um, uh, what is our target market? Uh, so just uh, since I'm a data guy, I wanted to give some perspective. In 2015, black tea accounted for about 360 million um, dollars of sales in North America. And by 2025, the market is, is forecasted to grow almost double. So around like 630 to 650 million dollars just for the black tea. And then our target market will be mainly in the Northern California initially. Um, I did some research as well. There is about 1.2 million um, South Asian population in Sacramento and Bay Area combined. So we can target that. Um, of course, the tea enthusiast. And then eventually we would like to get into wholesale to into cafes and restaurant. And as a product guy, I also feel that your user doesn't know what they want till you actually show them what they want. So we would like to target pretty much everyone and have them uh, experience our chai. Next slide, please. And uh, our go-to market strategy. So we've divided that into two phases. Uh, again, these phases are not, uh, they can go like parallel or staggered based on like our, our response. But uh, just for the clarity, Phase one, we will have an online store where we will sell it across North America. And then um, we'll also do a lot of pop-ups and farmer's market in Sacramento region and Bay Area. And then we'll also do some events and catering. In phase two, we will uh, open a brick and mortar store. And then we'll also target the wholesale uh, side of things um, as well. Next slide, and then call for action. So we are in process to set up our online store and uh, we uh, we will share it with you once it's on and the various ways to you know um, reach out to us. But meanwhile, if you have any feedback or uh, any opportunities to partner, please feel free to reach out at gotchaisac at gmail.com. Thank you. Thank you. Well, howdy, everybody. I'd like to present to you Wrangler Mobile Kitchen. WMK is a catering service that targets construction sites and other remote work sites. The team is led by me, Ryan Underwood. I have about 12 years experience in the construction industry. I've been on the assembly line, in the field, and in the office. And one thing that um, all the projects I've been on have shared is you work long hours, the project's going to go over budget, and it's going to go past schedule, and the lunch service. The lunch service is typically looks like this. You're going to see this truck rolling into the job site, possibly leaking oil, possibly backfiring and playing La Cucaracha on the horns. And no matter what, we all line up to it and we eat from it day in and day out because it's the only thing available. Um, so there is approximately 1 million construction workers in just California. That's about two and a half percent of the population that works in this industry. There's no branded food service company that's serving them. Um, and these workers are making great money. Uh, these are the wages from the Carpenters Union in Sacramento. And for some reason, 
were serving these foodies frozen burritos for lunch. So my solution is to bring in nice equipment, brand it with relevant uh, targeted logos and serve healthier, hearty, nutritious meals that are rotating throughout the week just to keep these workers fueled and have them uh, try new options. Um, eventually in the future, I do see um, the use of these fancy new vending machines uh, being put all over not only construction sites, but even uh, offices and whatnot. They're already starting to. And I think I can be the first guy to put it in on a construction site. And so thank you everybody for listening to this presentation. And uh, if you are interested in partnership inquiries or have any questions or comments, my email is there. And you can find us on social media right on that handle. And thank you. Hi, welcome to Vistra on the Go. We are Sacramento's culinary hotspot and caterer for amazing home cooked desserts and creative cuisines. We are the owners and proud operators. I am Chef D.L. McGee, this is my beautiful wife, Sarah L. McGee. And established this year in June 2023, we are committed to creating down to earth cuisine, farm to Ferg inspired dishes that would excite your palate. At the moment, we do not have a physical location, but we are accepting orders on our Instagram page. So this is our team. It is just us four right now. So I'm in the middle, Sarah El Sahana, El McGee, and that's my husband, D. El McGee. We also have our two boys that are great helping hands, Isaac and Delonzo. So my husband, he is the executive chef. He has over 20 years of culinary experience. Um, he's also a barbecue pit master. I have over 10 years of business management experience and also grew up in the restaurant business. So our boys, they have been a part of our team since the first day, assisting in packaging, ordering, and events. Next slide. Our main issue that we notice that there is a lack of farm to fur food in our area. Even though we love the Sacramento community, we reside in Green Haven. So there wasn't really many options around, and there's a lot of niche concepts. So with that being in mind, we decided to take it upon ourselves to bring that to this area. So we've been showing up to farmers markets and we have done a couple of private events to help with that. So here are some of our menu items. We offer fresh farm to fork ingredients, organic free range chicken, grass fed beef. We also have all organic ingredients that we use when we're cooking, no GMO, fresh never frozen ingredients. So we take pride in every dish we create and in each step that we take in creating them. We have delivery options available within 48 hours of orders being placed. We offer high quality mouthwatering dishes made with lots of love. So pictured here are just a few of our items. So we have our barbecue plate there, which includes grass-fed beef tri-tip that is grilled, which was also marinated for 24 hours, along with our free-range chicken drumsticks, which also have been marinated for 24 hours. We have our smoked red sour beans with jalapenos, along with our homemade organic potato salad with dill sauce. So we also have our 7-Up Loaf Pound Cakes, 
and it's with the seven up glaze and our brown butter babies right there on the bottom, which is our brown butter snickerdoodle cookies. So not pictured, we also have a chocolate chip and peanut butter cookie as well. Our target demographic, we're really calling all foodies and all food enthusiasts. People who love farm to fork inspired food, down to earth food that works with local farmers, your local grocery stores. So we're constantly increasing our presence in the local community. So we will offer an increased presence at the Green Haven Farmers Market, local pop ups, where our patrons will have an opportunity to try our culinary delights. Being family owned and operated, we enjoy partnering with local grocery stores and farmers. Supporting our local community is a very integral part of how we run our business. Due to having a zero waste menu and great relationships with our purveyors, we minimize our profit losses. We do project a double increase in profits over the next year. Some of our long term goals are we plan to grow our brand across the Sacramento region and beyond. We would like to build a fleet of food trucks backed by a local brick and motor concept and packaging and shipping our desserts all over the world. So we'd love to invite you guys to join us on our culinary journey that will grow and evolve over time. We want you to be mesmerized through your, your palate and with all who partake in our festivities. So please follow us on Instagram. It's at bistro.onthego. And place your first order with us. Right now we are offering our mouth-watering dessert. So go ahead and place an order so you can become a part of our Bistro on the Go family. So thank you for your support. Hello, my name is Sayyid Ahmad, and my business partner is Sayyid Mahmoud, and our business is Sayyid uh, Zaki Halal Catering. We are a catering service that offers halal traditional Afghan dishes to our customers. Our team consists of four people. My father is Sayyid Mahmoud Zaki. He's the business owner, chef, budget controller, delivery dri driver, and supplier. He has 15 years experience in cooking traditional Afghan dishes, and he ran and managed a business in Afghanistan. Myself, Sayyid Ahmad. I'll be the business manager, accountant, marketer, bookkeeper, budget controller, and video editor. I have three years experience in editing videos for social media and one year experience in sales. My mother is Zakia Zaki. She'll be the chef, kitchen supervisor, kitchen manager, and she'll be the one that's going to be preparing the recipes. She has over 20 years experience in cooking Afghan dishes, and she prepares recipes for our dishes. My sister will also be on the team. She'll be the cashier, marketer, business organizer, social media manager, and sous chef. She has five years of experience in cooking Afghan dishes, and she's great with social media and has two years experience in customer service. Currently, there are no catering services in Folsom that offers traditional halal Afghan dishes, and our competitors do not offer delivery for events, which opens the door wide open for us to swoop and be a successful competitor. Our solution to our problem is to have traditional halal Afghan dishes, but we will be delivering the dishes to our customers' venues, which does set us aside from our competitors and solves a huge problem that people from the Middle East have. Our target market is people that need halal food or traditional Afghan food, so mainly people from Afghanistan and any other country in the Middle East, including Iran, Saudi Arabia, Turkey, Egypt, Sudan, Yemen, Palestine, any other country. Why choose us? We bring the true taste of Afghanistan to our customers. Our diverse menu offers a variety of flavorful dishes that are prepared using traditional Afghan recipes, spices, and cooking techniques. We are from Afghanistan, so we know the frustration of being limited to certain places where we can have our venues with halal traditional dishes. So we have created a business where those limitations can be lifted because we will be delivering our authentic halal traditional dishes right to our customers' venues. We will also adhere to the Islamic dietary guidelines so our customers can have complete peace of mind knowing that our dishes are not completely are not only delicious but also fresh and compliant with our religious dietary requirements. We will be making our products in a commercial kitchen and delivering it to our customers via the delivery van. Of course, all of the dishes will be halal and all of the meat will be purchased from halal certified vendors. What we offer does not currently exist in Folsom, and our long-term objective is to have restaurants open all around Sacramento County.
You can contact us through our business email, zakihalalcatering at gmail.com and follow our social so you can stay up to date with our products. And you can also contact us through our social media to book us for events. Our Instagram is called Zaki underscore halal underscore catering. And TikTok is Zaki Halal Catering. You can also just scan the QR code to take you straight to our pages. Thank you. Hi, everyone. So when you think of tea, what comes to mind? My guess is boba, matcha, chai, or coffee shops. And usually it's a drink that's grab and go. Well, here at Tea Room and Company, we want to change that. We want to educate the local Sacramento region about tea, from the wide varieties of teas that are out there to the difference between afternoon tea and high tea. We also believe that tea shouldn't be something that is enjoyed on the go, but instead through meaningfully shared experiences. Hi, my name is Susan. I'm the founder uh, of Tea Room and Company, who just so happens to be pretty darn good at the whole event planning and hosting thing. I'm obsessed about the tea tales, I'm a novel tea enthusiast, and I absolutely love creating uniquely memorable events for you and your loved ones. If you're like me and absolutely love the whole afternoon tea experience, but have noticed that the Sacramento area has limited to no access to afternoon tea experiences and that are instead flooded by boba tea shop options, or that the closest experiences are either in Davis, Stockton, Lodi, or in the Bay Area, and even if you do decide to travel, reservations can at times be hard to come by. Well, fear not, here at Tea Room and Company, we bring the afternoon tea experience to you. No need to worry about the stress that comes with hosting, decorating, or cooking. Our tea parties are all inclusive. We'll take care of the setup, food, and cleanup. Just show up and enjoy your time with your loved ones. We currently offer two service packages. The first is our signature package, which ranges from $75 to $95 per person. And the second is our royal treatment package, which ranges from $100 to $135 per person. And this includes decor and food. In addition to our packages, we also offer afternoon tea baskets for pickup or delivery, which can range from $75 to $100. So if you're tired of having to set up, decorate, cook, and clean up after your events, or you simply don't want to purchase or rent expensive decor, but value experiencing new experiences, actually connecting with your loved ones during your events, and love posting your experiences to social media, then Tea Room and Company has you covered. The Sacramento region serves as our main backdrop, but we are open to serving nearby regions as well. Tea Room and Company's starting business model is a business-to-consumer model in which we directly provide unique and personable experiences to our clients via catering and event planning. And because we're a fairly new business, our business projections are a work in progress. Our long-term goal is to become a fully staffed brick-and-mortar afternoon tea cafe in Sacramento and become a zero-waste cafe by working with the city and county to provide leftover foods to the homeless senior centers and or after-school programs. So if you're ready to party, check us out on Instagram via our website or email us. Thanks so much for the opportunity. All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Zinnia Brooks, and I am the founder of True Soul. This is your new destination for Southern Comfort Food. With True Soul, we will serve fresh comfort food using locally sourced ingredients to craft quality traditional recipes in an upbeat, inviting atmosphere where you feel at home. So who am I? I am the founder, owner, and head chef for True Soul. I do it all. I started my cooking journey at 15 years old. So while my friends hung out on the weekends, I was home crafting my culinary skills. With five years of restaurant experience and a customer service career background, I understand food service operations and how to provide an unforgettable experience. Okay. Here's the problem I wanna to present today. There are many comfort food restaurants in Sacramento and I find most of them lack consistency with their menu items and their availability. 
Most items are not made fresh daily. I can taste the difference. There's no excitement. You're not greeted and you're treated like you're a burden. Lastly, you spend so much for just mediocre food and nobody wants to fill up. The solution is true soul. We are the solution. We are going to always have product consistency. Our food will taste the same every time you come and all menu items will be available. You will, have, you will be seen and greeted with a warm welcome. Not to mention your food is plated with care, so you can't help but post it on Instagram and brag about it. This fuels excitement for more customers and to experience true soul. I know there's many demographics that we can serve, but I just wanna focus on our target customer right now. So meet Sean Johnson, he's 31, he's a millennial, and he's a single working class male living out of Sacramento. Sean wants a grab and go satisfying meal when he gets off work. He doesn't have time to sit in a restaurant. He just wants to get home, gets his plate, go right home. Once he gets that first bite, instant nostalgia, comfort of home. And not to mention because of our hefty portions, he'll have leftovers for work tomorrow. So our business model is going to be business to, business to, business to consumer and we will start out as a pop-up. We know with our authentic food, aggressive creative marketing, strategic location, and unparalleled service that we will have great success, which will provide us the revenue and profit needed to one day have a brick and mortar, which is our ultimate goal. So thank you all for listening and I encourage you to follow us, contact us for orders, or if you just have any questions about the food that we serve, we have great photos and things on our website as well. So please follow, follow, follow. Thank you.